video. These are gigantic. Oh, I will attempt to spend. Oh, take a look at this right here. This is the fastest moving abalone I've ever seen. $1,000 on seafood in Busan, South Korea. Got our bull king crab right here, and she's about to take it apart. Oh my god, she just did like a suplex on that. That's like an MMA move. Today is a typical beautiful day in Busan. Overcast, cloudy, gloomy, depressing. But look, there's a sign behind the fish market that says, I heart Jagalchi. Mmm, good for tourism. Today, we're gonna be spending the day in Jagalchi Seafood Market. This is the biggest seafood market in all of South Korea. I can't verify, but I'm gonna say it's even bigger than the biggest seafood market in North Korea as well. So, the biggest in all the Koreas. Here's how it works. On the bottom floor, you have a lot of ladies selling their seafood. They have a myriad of different seafood options. We're gonna look for unique, interesting, and expensive seafood. Once we buy the seafood, we can take it to a different place within the market where they will cook it. I haven't been back to the Korea since well before the pandemic, and I am excited. Let's get started. Boom, we just stepped foot in the market. There are tons of vendors like this. It's super clean, organized, and actually, Smells pretty good too. Here, one of the first foods that stood out to me, this is a sea cucumber. They're alive. It's in very cold water. These are actually interesting to eat. They have a very rubbery texture. And when you pick it up, they squirt out a little bit of juice. Cute. All right, this one's almost fully deflated. He must be going through a midlife crisis. <laughs> All right, time to put him back in the water so he can inflate again. There you go, little buddy. Let's keep moving. Boom, we've come to another vendor here. She has so many different things and a lot of different shellfish. Right here is a pen shell, the biggest one I've ever seen. They have abalone, sea pineapples, they have penis fish. It's called kebu. Any idea why they call it that? I mean, just take a look. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, it's an active one. Oh no, it got my wife. You bastard. Well, take a look at this right here. This is the fastest moving abalone I've ever seen trying to make a break for it. I'm rooting for him. You can do it. Get out of this place. Get back to the ocean. Just kidding. Bloop. <laughs> Dreams destroyed. <laughs> and then finally here, we have something I love, but I've eaten it out of camera so many times, I don't know if it's worth doing it again, but it's called Sanakji. It's like a baby octopus. <laughs> 안녕하세요, 아줌마. 안녕하세요. 어, 엄마, 엄마, 어, yeah, 잘할 수 있어요. 아, 이게 뭐예요? We stumbled upon a fish I haven't seen in many other countries. It is a flounder, but there's a lot of different flounders. Look at the new flounder hunt, a little mermaid. What is that? It looks like it took a special submarine to school when it was younger. It's a weird looking flounder. And so is this. That's the body, but we want to see the face. So it's just like the bastard halibut. It's got two eyeballs on the one side of its head. And then when you flip it, uh oh, uh oh. <laughs> oh, she's getting her net. So you can see it's just like one side has pigmentation, the other side doesn't. So I'm going to order two of these and then we're going to get some more seafood too. The next step is to take them here and to politely say goodnight. Goodbye. Oh, look at this. She's thrown in some bonus shrimps. Wow. Oh, come some We've come to another cool spot with this right here. Lots of cuttlefish. This one, it's the biggest one in the whole market. Oh, wow. Look at this creature. It sounds like an out of breath dog. It kind of changes colors a little bit as you touch it. What a remarkable animal. And soon, that definitely live sentient gasping creature is going to be turned into sashimi. Sashimi? Sashimi. You got a mail. 30,000. Wow. That's about what I expected. But uh, I'm going to spend a thousand bucks. I'm going to spend a lot more money than this. So I've just been told actually he's going to make the sashimi and he's going to make it right here. Oh, that is the ink sack and everything else all taken out and removed. Looks like we're keeping all of that, but rinsing the ink off. Now that he's got the skin removed, he's going to peel the outside layer. Alas, the thick cone of the cuttlefish is now being cut thin into a raw sashimi. And you can see the muscles are still spasming. Although this creature is long gone and its soul is up in cuttlefish heaven. We come upstairs and it's a very different vibe. Less fish smell, lots of people hanging out, eating, drinking, having a good time. I love it. Here there are tons and tons of kitchens. This is the kitchen we brought our food to and they're gonna make it up right now. Right here we have the cuttlefish legs and these are gonna be boiled or steamed a little bit. And then right here we have the flounder. Those are being salted and cleaned a little bit more and soon they're gonna fry it. Oh, we've got a skillet full of hot oil. Flounder goes on top and a second one right there. Oh, looks like it had a little bit of life left in him. Not anymore. Don't worry, he's dead. Right here we have our first course, and my god, am I excited, because this is a lot of food right here. First of all, to sit down, you don't actually have to pay money for them to cook the food, but you do have to pay 5,000 won per person to be here. And with that 5,000, they will cook the food, but they will also give you some panchan. Panchan are like Korean side dishes. We have some water kimchi, peanuts. Oops, I ate some of those already. Some steamed sweet potato. This is samjang sauce. We have typical kimchi. We have some nice leaves and plants here. We have some chilies and whole garlic pieces. For our protein, we have the sashimi from the cuttlefish. I've never seen sashimi like this cut down into almost like 
like noodle shape. Then right here, this is also part of the cuttlefish. This was just simply boiled up here. Here we have the flounder. Now it's looking really different from the flounder on the Little Mermaid. Wow. This meal requires a lot of explanation. Right here, soy sauce. Here, this is gochujang. I'm gonna start with the cuttlefish legs. Oh yeah, the sauce is pretty good. It's spicy, it's a little bit sour too. The meat by now, it is very dense and very chewy. But if you eat it plain, virtually no flavor. I almost choked. Right here, take a look at this. It's like a pasta. I'm gonna hit this with some soy sauce. Get it nice and salty. It's different because it's raw, and so it's a little bit slimy. So it kind of slips down your throat while you're eating it. It has a slight seafoodiness to it, but it's virtually flavorless. It's all about the texture. It's very firm and slimy at the same time. This is the flounder. It's cooked in such a way that it's like crispy and fried on the outside, but almost like it's steamed in the center. The problem is, if you take a look, tons and tons of bones. Wait, did I just do something perfectly? Oh, that was pretty good. So I got the bones on one side and the meat on the other side. Give it a dip in the soy sauce. Interesting. Whatever is green on there is extremely bitter. I'm gonna take the skin off. There is just the fish with a little bit of skin, no sauce. It's a very mushy fish. The skin has a good texture. It's fatty. It's just there's something wildly bitter on there, and I don't love it. Look how crispy this is. Give it a little bit of a dip. Mm. Ah. The best bite, very nice. This is our first course. We're gonna do at least two more. The goal is to get to $1,000, but that may not be easy. So far, we're at under $50. From here, I'm gonna go back downstairs and see what more expensive seafood I can find. Meal one is complete, and I am back on the ground looking for more seafood, and I've come upon this right here, a whole basket of dangerous black sea urchins. So they have these spikes, which they're able to move a bit. You can see it's a little belly button. I believe they're gonna cut it in half, expose the naked eggs inside, and you can eat it raw. These things are dangerous, because you could be in the ocean, swimming, surfing, you step on it, it's gonna go like through your foot. They're little f***ers. See, I censored myself. Don't worry about it. So I'm gonna buy this whole basket right here. One kilogram, 20,000. That's more than I thought. So right now he's just gonna pack it away and upstairs they're gonna cook it up for us. We've come to another stall here. The biggest tiger prawns I've ever seen in my life. I mean, look at that. That is like the size of a lobster tail. The word shrimp does not even apply here. They should call it a, a media. Terrible joke. Media on there. Wow, 20,000 Korean won. It's wild, I have to buy it. I have to see what it tastes like. All right, bag it and we'll take it with us. <laughs> For round two right here, we are now gonna collect the biggest flat fish we can find. Wow, that one has some acne. This is a very unique fish. You can see the two eyes on the one side. It's always just looking up at people's butts and fins. Because of its unique eye configuration, they're known as the bastard halibut. What a cool name. All right, putting it in the basket. Guys, I'm putting my hand on the fish, and I have a big hand. Yeah, go right there, my hand. Look how big that is. You can see the weight right here, four point, almost three kilograms. Multiply that by 2.2, .2 and that's our fish. So I just found out the price of this fish is 147,000, a lot more than I expected, but that is a lot of fish. Right here, this is an old Japanese style. He's gonna shove the steel rod into the spine. Now the fish is completely dead, but it's gonna create a reaction from the fish. And I'm told this is gonna make the meat even better, softer, all the good things. Wow, look at the skill and precision. Someone who has done this a thousand times before. That is a massive filet right there. So next time we see this guy, it's gonna be cut into little bitty pieces and draped down over a plate or maybe multiple plates. We're gonna need a bigger plate. That's a big fish. Boom, we're back and we're in a brand new kitchen right now. We're about to cook up this shrimp, let's go. So today our shrimp is gonna get a nice gentle steaming right here in this pot. Next time we see him, he'll be looking nice and pink. Right here we have all of our sea urchins. One by one, they slice them in half almost breaking them, revealing these big, beautiful eggs inside. After cutting it open, they give it just a little bit of a rinse, and then that is gonna go on our platter, and we're gonna try it out soon. We have our second course right here, and the most expensive so far. It's actually more than this. Hold on, there's another plate. It's also this plate. We just don't have room on the table to put it all. Of course, we have the banchan. Moving on from there, we have the sea urchin, and then right here, we have the biggest shrimp I have ever seen, and that is where I'm gonna begin. I'm gonna pull out this whole side of shrimp and take a look at that. That is a freaking tiger prawn right there, folks. This is samjong sauce. Samjong is a combination of red chili paste and fermented soybeans. Then we have sesame seeds and sesame oil. I'm gonna mix all that up together. I'm gonna smear that to add some flavor onto our shrimp. I'm gonna try it out. <laughs> oh yeah. A very nice sauce combination. It's super salty. It's got a little bit of kick. The sesame oil makes it smoky and deep flavored. White bite.
Right here we have the sea urchin. It's a little dangerous to pick it up. I was hoping they would cut these needles off a little bit, but they have not. So that is a load of eggs. As far as I can tell, they've not done anything to the sea urchin except for cut it open. Creamy, oceanic, bit of brininess, a little woody, earthy almost. So it is good plain, but I want to see what happens if you add some of this oil onto here. Cheers. Wow, new level. It's nutty, it's smoky, it's got a great seafood brininess to it. It seems like an ideal seafood for drinking if you have beer, if you have soju. Our final food is the sashimi. The color of its flesh, it's not purely white, it's not purely red, it's got different shades and tones. Some are more translucent and some are more pale, white, and opaque. The first bite, I don't want to flavor enhance it at all. I just want to taste the full halibut flavor. Let's go. Super clean flavor. It's got some bounce to that meat. So they've given me some wasabi and some soy sauce. Give it a little bit of a mix. Grab another couple. Give it a little bit of a dip. <laughs> soy sauce and wasabi together. Join hands and they elevate this dish to a new level. It's all good. All right, from here, I am gonna consume literally everything you see here and nothing will go to waste. And then I will get our last and most expensive course yet. Let's go. Right here we stumbled upon one of the most expensive seafoods you'll find at this market. These are gigantic crabs. This one is, oh, notice the claws are not banded. You gotta be careful and this guy is very much feisty and alive. Okay, he said just lift it from the back, but just don't be a puss. Boom, here we got it. This is a snow crab, different from a king crab. You'll see the body doesn't get quite as big. The legs are long, but a little bit thinner and it is ferocious. It wants to crush me. As big as this is, this is a little guy. We're gonna put him down. This is what I'm really interested in today. This right here is the king crab. A crab so big and so near death, it can't muster the strength to try to pinch me. Now, can you? Wait, are you alive? Hey, what's kind of? Yeah, he's okay. He's taking a nap. Price for one kilogram is 75,000 won. Multiply that by three, that is 225,000 won for this whole thing right here. Last time I had something this size in Vietnam, it was almost $400. So I'm looking at this like it's a discount bin purchase. Not bad at all. Let's go upstairs and try them out. Right? Time for your pain to end. Isn't that fantastic? This is its final resting place right here. This is a very cool technology here. She has a kitchen hose so she can fill up pots. I've seen a lot of hose in my life, but never a kitchen hose. Next time we see that crab, it's gonna be looking bright orange and succulent. I cannot wait. We've got the king crab, that's boiling, but I wanna get one more food, something that I've tried before, but never in Korea. First of all, these are the biggest freaking oysters I've ever seen in my life. Do I wanna eat a giant oyster? No. Here, big old blood cockles with the tongue sticking out. And then we have clams here, and then a few different types of snails. Now, if you watched my videos before, you know I've had so many different types of snails, especially in Vietnam, but I've never had Korean sauces mixed with this kind of meat, and I'm excited to see what that would taste like. Those are not cheap. It turns out five bucks per snail, 20 for four. Check it out. We've got our bull king crab right here, and she's about to take it apart. Oh my God, she just did like a suplex on that. That's like an MMA move. From here, you can see that big head full of crab soup. The whole body is steaming beautifully. I don't know what that is, but she just pulled that out. Now she's cutting it up and putting that back on the plate as well. Off with the legs, leaving all the hip meat in the body. The claw here, she kind of free cuts for me, so it's easy to get into. This is all the waste and the gills and the stuff we do not want to eat. But that, my friend, we're definitely gonna be dining on shortly. Right here, we have our third and final round, and my gosh, this place got real busy. Those are people who are like on a race to get effed up right now. I might as well join them. <sighs> right here we have a whole flipping king crab. And then right here, four snails. As I thought, they just did a simple boiling. This is our red chili paste. So let's go for it. Oh wow, that poop sack was still soft and kind of room temp, but the snail itself was delicious, meaty, slightly rubbery in the best way possible. And then mixed with this sauce, rather than being fresh and refreshing, it's kind of a bold, intense experience. The snail, I give it a pass. There's so many people here and everyone seems panicked about food. Next and finally, Next and finally, we have the king crab right here. This looks just extraordinary. All right, so we're gonna take out that tendon and open up the biggest piece right here. Oh man, it's Donino sauce. It's so sweet, fatty, and delicious. Here's the other half. When you steam it, the fat kind of bubbles up and boils to the outside. I gotta say, it's cooled down a bit and it's still delicious. Oh, 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 oh. At this point, I'm not reviewing anything. I'm just eating. Hold on, this is for my wife. Next right here, we have a giant claw. It's very thick. She's cut it a bit. Take that out. We should be able to scoop this meat out. <laughs> what I'm told is that some people here actually like to eat this with soy sauce. So I'm gonna give it a little bit of a dip. You know, as an American, we just get used to eating all this type of seafood with butter and that's it. 
so much better than I ever expected. It has all the saltiness from butter, but none of that overwhelming richness. It's so good. This has been three rounds of seafood. I cannot do any more than this. I'm gonna eat as much of the king crab as I can, and I'm gonna give the rest to charity. Sure. What kind of charity wants half-eaten crab? The goal of this video is to see if I could spend $1,000 on seafood in one day here in Busan, South Korea. So now I need to add up everything we ate for the entire day and see if I got even close to $1,000. Let's do it. Boom, that's the end of the video, guys. We have been here for over five hours. So let me tell you, this place is like a casino because whether it's dark outside or bright outside, it's always the same inside here, which is very, very bright. Today, we had three different rounds of seafood. If you add it all up, all the seafood I bought today, put on a list, add it up, the sum total of all of it will come to, boom! A lot of money. If my estimations are correct, it's a little bit under $500, but man, that is not a thousand. Other thought, the way of cooking Korean seafood here is a bit straightforward and simple. I wouldn't say there's a lot of culinary merit to it. Now, I know they have other like heimul, jjigae's, like seafood soups and things that are delicious with seafood and actual ingredients. But today, there wasn't really much of that. Otherwise, those are Sunny's final thoughts. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you next time. I almost ran into that guy. That would have been a lawsuit. Okay, where did I park? Wait, I don't own a car in Korea. What am I doing? I took the bus.